God held his second international science fair conference in Addis Ababa, focusing on human mobility in a context of COVID-19. Conference provides an opportunity to delve into critical evidence and emerging knowledge that will inform decision making and policy development on migration and displacement governance. Because the Red General Organization said COVID-19 pandemic has negatively affected the socio-economic activity of the region. The Secretary General called upon its member states to cooperatively work on the reduction of COVID-19 spread. Regional Director by OM Mohamed Abdelkar outlined the need to conduct strengthened cross-border tasks Meanwhile, I Lord Regional Director Alexio Musindo said the coronavirus pandemic resulted in over 100,000 visas in the region. COVID-19 pandemic has already displaced the social and economic shocks affecting both supply and demand sides of the economy. And labor markets around the world were disrupted in 2020 on a record scale, 
2008 global financial crisis during the world of 2020, INO has regularly monitored and updated the world of, his, of work and its assessment of the impact of COVID-19 on economies and labor markets. Together with providing policy recommendations for lessening the effects and aiding a fast recovery. The latest global warning was released Late January, and I would like to share with you some of the highlights. The Gas Scientific Conference will span for three days and more than 20 studies are expected to be overviewed. Chief of Staff of the Ethiopian National Defense Force, General Burhan Ujula, is in the United Arab Emirates for a working visit. He delivered a message from Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed to Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces. General Burhan on the occasion said, Cooperation situation in the Horn of Africa and the latest development in the Tiwana Nation State. We are going to talk to you about the future of the country. We are going to talk to you about the future of the country. The House of Federation mentions Sudama's formation as a tenth regional state of Ethiopia is a manifestation of the government's commitment to maintain human and democratic rights of citizens. This remark came during the official formation of the Sidama state government. The newly structured government of the region has called upon investors to invest in the region. The current Sidama regional state has passed its own fire and water to get the last resort to its syndicate slot case for state-level administration. It was only in 2019 that Sidama zone, which was part of the South regional state, became the 10th Ethiopian regional state after a referendum was held. And on Monday, the new regional state of the country has officially formed a government. The struggle has been long and tiresome because of the continued quest of this generation and the understanding of the reformist federal government that the quest of the Sidama people need constitutional solution, it addressed the quest according to the constitution. Mentioning Sidama state as can you see for investment in various sectors, the stakeholder for local and foreign investors to invest in the more returns. Since Sidama uh, regional yeah. state is found near uh, the capital uh, Addis Ababa uh, and it is blessed with abundant uh, natural resources uh, and conducive uh, climate, uh, it's more desirable uh, for trade, uh, investment, uh, tourism uh, and conference uh, tourism. Uh, Hence, uh, I would like to call uh, upon all uh, local uh, and foreign uh, investors uh, who would uh, like uh, to engage in uh, investing uh, in the region to come uh, to the uh, region uh, for uh, the uh, regional uh, already uh, finished uh, preparation. Addressing the Sidama administrative quest is a manifestation of government's commitment to maintain human and democratic rights of citizens. The government has begun to support through the reform emanated from the pressure of the years-long struggle of our people for the implementation of the constitution-based federal system and for maintaining the human and democratic rights of citizens. Decades long, public questions of the public are being addressed. The fact that the organization of Sidama Regional State has changed the state of the federal as the constitution allows is a clear evidence that the reformist government is committed to address the long-standing questions of the public. Senior officials of the federal government as well as heads of regional and city administrations were in attendance of the event that they are kept the official formation of Sidama regional state. Sidama regional state. 
Welcome back again. Some opposition political parties said they are undertaking various activities to participate in the upcoming 6th general election that is scheduled to be held on 5th June 2021. As part of this move, these political parties have begun their official campaigns promoting their election symbols to the general public. Close to 100 federal and regional parties have been registered to take part in the upcoming general election. Or see political parties who meet with talkers who say they choose their respective symbols that can be used in their political philosophy. they say they are working hard to mobilize the public to participate in the upcoming general election despite the challenges in the country political parties said. Aragawi appreciates the decision made by the National Election Board of Ethiopia to extend the upcoming general election instead of Tigray due to the current issue in the state. It was impossible for the Commission to move into Tigray as much as other political organizations. So, uh, in, in the rest of Ethiopia, except Tigray, the election uh, will go on. And uh, they look like a ridiculous uh, And uh, recently there will be a series of meetings with the political parties uh, to assess the this. Uh, but in Tigray, uh, I'm afraid we're going to be uh, held uh, in line with the other parts of Ethiopia. Uh, it will be delayed uh, for some time. We don't know uh, the span of time. Uh, in Nazi Bandura's fall through democracy to his part expressed its reservations on the major activities of the National Election Board of Ethiopia about the general election. ተሳባሪ <laughs> Information obtained from the National Election Board of Ethiopia shows opposing political parties are undertaking major activities to undertake the sixth upcoming general election on 5 June 2021. <laughs> 
Indonesia Kita masih ada tempat di sana 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 የስምንት ልጆችና ተዮኑትን ባለቤታቸውን ከዛሬ 45 አመታት በፊት በሰርጋቸው ቀን ጠልፈው በማምጣት ዛሬም በደስታ ይነው ወስቱ የተለያዩ ክፍሎች አሉት ይዋሻ ፍትለፊት ካለው ክፍል ውጪ በደግግግ ጨለማ የተዋጠ ሲዳን ሰላም <laughs> <laughs> 
some scholars' negative advocacy about the two countries' relation is that the Ethiopia's peace and socio-economic stability benefits Sudan and the entire Horn of Africa. A Sudanese scholar in African University, Hassan Maki, said the strength and unity of Ethiopia is dangerous for Sudan. An Eritrean scholar, Amir Saleh, on the other hand, said Ethiopia's unity, peace and development is very important for the Horn of Africa. The second advocacy is true, and it shows that Ethiopia's unity and stability is crucial not only for Sudan, but for the Horn of Africa. So, it is better for Sudan to solve this peacefully because they also have another border issue with Egypt. Sudanese government has still controlled the area forcefully, while the Ethiopian side preferred executing a makeable solution to the problem and the issue has not been solved yet. Scholars say the winning mentality of the victory of Adwa should be repeated in the development endeavors of the nation to extricate the country from it. Religious and language difference did not thwart Ethiopians to respond to the call of Emperor Menelik II, a call to fight against invaders in Adwa, where a well armed Italian troop was defeated. This event helped Ethiopians develop a winning mentality in which scholars now suggest repeating it in the country's development endeavors to extricate from poverty. The wonderful teaching of Adwa victory should also be exploited in depth, they added. There is, and there was one great nation in which various province leaders had a culture to stand together to be the common enemy. Adwa created a spirit of common value and politicians. The mechanics Said standing in unison helped Ethiopia to win the invader. Historians point out the victory of Adwa needs to be used for nation building. Brotherhood has helped us to defeat our enemy. We showed our selfishness and register in the Unless we fight our common enemy, the enemy will strengthen. We are now at a crossroad. The political elites should entertain different interests of the people. In this regard, a lot remains to be done. To ensure peace, we need political stability and economy as well. So, the victory of Adwa should be used for nation building. <laughs> Adwa turned Ethiopia into a symbol of freedom for black people globally, historians noted. Without a historical memory, it's like a person without a head. Over a century ago, the Ethiopian people and the national leadership united like one person to defeat the foreign power that I had to take over Ethiopia. The victory of Adwa is a victory that united a nation, the people, and the leadership. <laughs> Internally, 
All the varied groups from Oromia to Eritrea were mobilized and contributed richly to the success of the Adwa victory by all Ethiopians through the depth and breadth of the land. This was not a victory of the leaders or, or, or one ethnic group. This was a national victory with a wider African and indeed world significance. It was and remains an exemplary episode in demonstrating what a united people can achieve with the support of the African diaspora and the anti-colonial forces in the West. Thank <laughs> you.